friends welcome back evaluating limits using taylor series limit x tends to 0 of 2x square plus cos 2x minus 1 divided by x to the power 4 friends if we exactly put x is equal to 0 in numerator we find this is 0 plus 1 minus 1 that is giving it 0 and similarly from the denominator also we are getting 0 so it is in 0 by 0 form that is the indeterminate form okay this is 0 by 0 form means indeterminate form so first of all we shall find the uh, Taylor series for the um, trigonometric function cos of 2x so let us consider that fx is equal to cos of 2x okay so we shall now use the Taylor's series expansion that means we know that fx is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity fn 0 divided by n factorial times x to the power n. This is the nth derivative of the function fx at x is equal to 0. So first of all friends we shall find the first derivative of the function fx that is f1x that is equal to minus 2 sine of 2x next is the second derivative of the function f2x is equal to minus 4 cos of 2x next the third derivative f of 3x is equal to positive 4 to the 8 sine of 2x next f of 4 x that means the fourth derivative of the function is equal to 16 cos of 2x again next f5 x that means the fifth derivative the function fx is equal to minus 32 of sine 2x okay so in this way the other derivatives also so friends one by one we find first of all f of 0 what is f of 0 from this one we get f of 0 f of 0 is equal to obviously this is 1 because cot 0 is equal to 1 from the first derivative we are getting f1 0 is equal to 0 because sin 0 is equal to 0 so minus 2 into 0 is equal to 0 next is f2 0 f2 0 is equal to minus 4 minus 4 into 1 so this is minus 4 next f3 0 this is equal to 0 next is f4 0 is equal to 16 because 16 into cos 0 cos 0 means 1 so 16 to 1 is equal to 16 from the fifth derivative f5 0 is equal to 0 because sin 0 is equal to 0 and so on the other derivatives so friends now uh, we shall find the Taylor series for the trigonometric function fx is equal to cos 2x okay so we write it here fx is equal to cos cos 2x that means this is equal to f of 0 plus f10 x plus f20 x square by 2 factorial plus f30 x to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial and so on the other uh, derivatives okay at the point x is equal to 0 so one by one we shall put the values f0 we have just found this one f0 is equal to 1 so put it here 1 plus f10 what is f10 f10 is equal to uh, this is here f10 is equal to 0 so we shall put it here 0 next is f20 what is f20 f20 is equal to minus 4 so we put it here minus 4 into x square divided by 2 factorial next is f30 f30 is equal to 0 so we put it here 0 next f30 next is f40 f40 means 16 so we shall now put 
16 16 into x to the power 4 by 4 factorial f50 this is 0 and so on the other derivatives okay so after some calculation we shall get here 1 minus 4 in 4 into x square divided by 2 factorial what is 2 factorial 2 factorial is equal to 2 so 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 so we can cancel this and we shall get 2 here so ultimately this is 2 x square actually so 2 x square plus 0 plus 16 into x to the power 4 by 4 factorial 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 we shall not break this one we take it as usual that means we can write this 16 as 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial into x to the power 4 and uh, other derivatives also this can be written 2 to the power 6 divided by 6 factorial into x to the power 6 plus so on okay so friends uh, we have got the Taylor, Taylor series for the uh, trigonometric function cos 2x this is 1 minus 2x square plus 2 to the power 4 by 4 factorial x to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 6 by 6 factorial into x to the power 6 plus so on so we shall now um, uh, substitute this cos 2x in the uh, limit that is limit 2x square plus cos 2x minus 1 divided by x to the power 4 we shall write it again okay so we have taken this one again limit x tends to 0 2x square plus cos 2x minus 1 divided by x to the power 4 this is equal to limit x tends to 0 2x square plus cos 2x we have just got this one so we write it now 1 minus 2x square I again repeat this one so it will be better yes 1 minus 2x square plus 2 to the power 4 by 4 factorial into x to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 6 divided by 6 factorial into x to the power 6 plus so on so I write it again this is 1 minus 2x square plus 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial into x to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 6 divided by 6 factorial into x to the power 6 plus so on and there is minus 1 so we shall put it here minus 1 whole divided by x to the power 4 so x to the power 4 is written now friends see that this one this positive one and negative one is cancelled so I cancel these two ones and again um, this is 2x square this is also 2x square okay 2x square so this 2x square and this 2x square is also cancelled so ultimately we are getting limit x tends to 0 denominator is x to the power 4 and in from the remaining part uh, we see that x to the power 4 can be taken common so we take x to the power 4 common so in bracket we can write 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial minus 2 to the power 6 divided by 6 factorial into x, x square plus 2 to the power 8 divided by uh, 8 factorial into x to the power 4 plus so on so friends one thing is very important I always say this one limit x tends to 0 since x tends to 0 since x tends to 0 so we can write x is not is equal to 0 x is not is equal to 0 so since x is not is equal to 0 and x lies in the, your de denominator so this since the denominator is not equal to 0 so you can cancel x to the power 4 and this x to the power 4 that means you can divide both numerator and denominator by x to the power 4 because x is not is equal to 0 so friends now I can write a limit x tends to 0 I write it again that will be better 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial minus 2 to the power 6 divided by 6 factorial x square plus 2 to the power 8 divided by 8 factorial into x to the power 4 plus so on so friends in the limiting case when x tends to 0 the expression now will be this series will be like this 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial minus 2 to the power 6 by 6 factorial uh, into 0 0 square means 0 
So since in the uh, remaining parts, um, uh, in each term there will be x. So for this, if we substitute this x, we shall get 0, 0 and 0 in this way. So ultimately what are we getting here? We are getting exactly this is 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial. That means the limiting value of this function 2x square plus cos 2x minus 1 divided by x to the power 4 is 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial. This is the limiting value when x tends to 0. So 2 to the power 4 means your 16 and divided by 4 factorial means uh, 24. So after cancellation we shall get this is 2 divided by 3. So the limiting value of this given function is 2 by 3 when x tends to 0. One thing is very important here we have used the Taylor's series for the function for the trigonometric function cos of 2x. So in limit also we can use the Taylor's expansion Taylor series Maclaurin series in few days you will see we shall use in limit the power series also. Thank you. Have a nice day.